Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron, and today we're doing something a little bit different with our chicken wings. Now, we normally smoke our chicken wings at 275 degrees until they're done. Today, we're just gonna roll smoke on them, and then we're gonna drop them in the RV Works fryer to crisp up that skin. So we're gonna roll them with B&B charcoal and some apple chunks until they're just about ready to be done, and then we're gonna drop them in that fryer to get them done. If you wanna see some awesome wings, guys come along with us stay tuned All right, now that we got the fire situated in the mini, we're gonna get these wings cut up. So we're using kitchen shears here. If you don't have a kitchen shear, you can use a sharp knife. All you're wanting to do is try to find that knuckle and that knuckle just cut right through it. As you can see here, it removes very easily. Then we find the knuckle in the middle and then we cut through the skin and then cut through that knuckle, no problem. You can take one of these flats of chicken wings and you can get them down to party wing size fairly easy and fairly quickly. So normally when we do smoke wings, we have to make sure that these wings are absolutely very dry. So we'll dry them with a paper towel and then we'll actually add them back into the refrigerator to let them air dry a little, little bit before we add oil back to them. Since we're popping these into a fryer after we get them smoked, all we're really trying to do here is get most of that water removed. So we'll take a paper towel and we'll get a lot of that water removed. Again, they don't have to be super dry. You just wanna make sure that you get all the leftovers from them thawing out. Make sure that they're fairly dry. We are gonna add some oil as a binder th to these. Normally that oil would add fat back so that the skin would crisp up in a smoker. But in this case, we're just using that olive oil to make sure that we have a binder for our rub. We like to use these cooling racks, especially when we're dealing with small pieces of meat. It makes it really easy to transport and really easy to move around. We're using the Suckle Busters Clucker Dust on this cook. We're just gonna make sure that we have a good solid coat of rub on both sides. This is to your preference, either a small amount of rub, or if you like it thicker, put a lot of rub on it. Either way, we're just gonna put a liberal amount of rub on these wings, and then we're gonna get them out to the smoker. While we're getting these together, hey, if you hadn't hit that like button, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. All right, let's get them out there. All right, we got them rubbed up. They're ready to go on the smoker. These wings are gonna be a little bit different than most. Most wings we do at 250 to 275 degrees and we let them run. These we're gonna put on at 200 degrees and incrementally bring that temperature up to 275 degrees to have them in the smoke a little bit longer. What we're looking for is the smoke flavor, not necessarily trying to crisp up the outside of them. We're gonna crisp up the outside of them in that grease. So we're gonna get them on at 200 and then bring them up to 275. You guys come along. All right, the pit's up to 200 degrees. We'll get them along here. Good smoke rolling. That's what we're looking for. Just gonna cook them in the middle racks. That way they're even. And we'll get them on here. Like I said before, we're gonna bring that temperature up. It's at 200 degrees now. We're gonna incrementally bring it up to 275. Take about an hour or so to do that. Then they'll be ready to drop into that hot grease. So we'll get them on and we'll let them run. We'll bring you guys back when we're at 275 degrees and just before we're ready to drop them in the grease. See you guys in a minute. All right, these wings have been on for about an hour. Remember, we started at 200, incrementally brought it up to 275 over that hour. So what we're looking for is to make sure that the rub is set on the outside, we got a little bit of smoke color, and we're ready to put them into the fryer, which would be about 170 degrees internal or so, and then we'll just drop them in the fryer for a couple of minutes to finish them up. So let's look in on them, see how they're doing. All right, let's check in on them. All right, the color looks good. The rub is set. Not much coming off when you, when you touch it. It's got good color in it. Let me bring you in and let you look at them. Yep, the color looks good, the rub's set, so they're ready to go on that fryer. So we'll get them pulled out and get them ready to go in the RV Works fryer. So we're just gonna pull them off, set them aside, make sure that our, our fryer's up to 375 degrees is where we're gonna start. And then uh, we're just gonna drop them in there for a couple minutes or so. We'll bring you over there. 
All right, the RV Works Cajun Fryer is up to the temp. We'll drop some of these in here. As you can tell, you, you can't hear it right now. You can't hear it right now because this thing holds temp very well. So we get it up to 375 degrees. We'll be able to do this fry without ever having to start it up again, which is a great thing when you're doing frying, especially when you're doing videos you don't have to hear that that this thing makes. So we'll get them into the grease and get them popped up. About two minutes, two minutes or so is what we're gonna, we're gonna fry them for. And then that, that'll be plenty. Get them in here. All right, we'll bring you guys back in about two minutes. All right, so it's been about three and a half minutes or so. Yeah, they're looking done. We're just gonna leave them here, let them sit for a minute. Let them drain. And then we'll get that other set in here. So when you do go to drain this, make sure you have like a cooling rack or something on top of the paper towels. The paper towels will, will soak up that grease, but this allows that grease to come off of it without just sitting in a grease puddle in the paper towel. So just get them on that rack and then they'll drain properly. So we'll get this next set in and get those going. All right, see y'all in about three minutes. All right, so while we're frying these other ones, this other batch, we'll just get this ready. We're gonna use some PS seasonings, blue ribbon competition style barbecue sauce to toss these in. So. What we're gonna do is just add just a little bit into the bottom here. And we'll just add the wings into it and then toss it a little bit. So we'll get those hot wings put in here. It'll make this barbecue sauce a lot thinner. If you like a little bit thinner barbecue sauce, add a little apple juice or something to it and that'll be fine. But we like a little bit thicker so we're gonna put it on just directly. So we're gonna get these, these wings that we do have done. We'll get those started. We've got about a minute and a half left on the on the other wings, so we'll get this first batch done and get them ready to go. So these are those fried wings. We'll just put those directly into that barbecue sauce. A little warm, still. And then we'll just take these wings and toss them around. Put a little bit more sauce. So they'll go back on, right back on it. Let you guys see these. They are delicious looking wings. Can't wait to give it a taste test when they cool down. So we'll just take them back to these racks. And let them cool down. Just in time to get the other ones off. All right, it's been about three and a half minutes. Yeah, they're done. So again, we'll drain them on this rack. Let them drain a little bit and we'll get them covered up with some barbecue sauce. We'll bring you guys back for the taste test. See you in a minute. All right, they're done. We're gonna get us a taste of them. Let me get, get you in here so you can see it. That is a good looking wing right there. All right, let's get a bite of that. Mm. Man, I don't know why I don't do this more often. Oh my God, it's good. Just falls right apart. I'm talking about. If you haven't tried a smoked, then fried wing, you should try it. It's dang good. We'll sit here and eat the rest of these. Catch you guys next time. Mm. See you later.